Okay, doke, here we go. This is the last set of questions on the midterm review. These are from Dynamics. Uh, we will do page 10, number 6, uh, and page 11, 7 through 9, and we will do one more, I believe, page 12, number 12. Okay, first one, number 6 on page 10. Now, I wish to grasp represent the motion of an object on which the net force is zero. Net force is zero means no acceleration or at constant velocity because uh, the forces are balanced. And so we're looking for a distance time graph and a velocity time graph to tell me my velocity is constant. What are they going to look like? Distance time means that the, the slope of this graph is equal to velocity, so I want a graph with a constant slope. It cannot curve because a curving graph means that my slope is changing, therefore I'm accelerating. Uh, velocity, or in this case speed versus time, uh, I don't want it to be at an angle because that means that I'm accelerating. So this is bad because it means that uh, my velocity is going to different values at different times. I want it to just go uh, at a constant velocity, which means it has to keep it the same number, which means it's going to go straight across. Uh, and so that's the right answer, and that is choice uh, B. All right. Uh, next is number seven. So this is page 11, number 7, which says you're on a small planet, an astronaut uses a force of blah, blah, blah. What's the gravitational pull strength on the surface of the planet? Okay. Um, we are using the formula for G is force of gravity over mass. Uh, we call this value G uh, acceleration due to gravity. If you look at the reference table, they will tell you that it's the acceleration due to gravity uh, or gravitational field strength, same thing. And so that's what they're looking for, what's the acceleration of gravity on this planet. And so I'm going to plug in the uh, force required to lift this boulder to constant speed, which means that it has to weigh that much, 175 newtons, divided by the boulder's mass is 7.5 kilograms, and that divides out to be exactly 2 meters per second squared, which is choice B. Uh, also units of 2 newtons per kilogram, uh, as you can see by our newtons over kilograms, so it is 2 newtons per kilogram, it's still choice B. Number 8. Uh, let's see. 60 kilogram student jumps from a laboratory counter, lands on the floor, his speed is 3 meters per second, since he stops in 0.2 seconds is the average force on the student. Um, so the key thing here to recognize is that here's the picture of the floor. I don't care that he jumped from a laboratory counter, what I care about is the fact that he's traveling down at 3 meters per second, and then a split second later, he has come to rest, bending his knees to land safely. So here his velocity is 3 meters per second down, and here his velocity is zero. So I'm going to call this initial velocity and then final velocity, because it's a question about the collision with the floor. And so I have initial velocity, final velocity, I have a mass of 60 kilograms. And so uh, I'm trying to find the average force of the floor on the student, so I'm going to use from the super equals F net T uh, is because they also tell me that he comes to a stop in 0 0.2 seconds. So F net T is equal to change in momentum, or M V F minus M V I. Uh, my V F is equal to 0, so I arrow 0 that. And I'm looking for the force, F net is negative M V I over T. I'm going to plug in the values, uh, 60 kilograms times the initial velocity of 3 meters per second, divided by 0 0.2 seconds, uh, and that gives me a force of, uh, blah, 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 looks like 900 newtons, which is choice C, 9 times 10 to the 2 newtons. Okie doke. Uh, number 9. is net force of 25 newtons, F net, 25 newtons, uh, applied horizontally to the 10, 10 kilogram block, what's the resulting acceleration? Okay, 10 kilograms is the mass of the block, uh, 10 kilograms, what's the acceleration? Well, this is a straightforward application of Newton's second law, it equals F net over M, 25 newton over 10 kilograms, and I get 2.5 meter per second squared, which is choice A. Last one. 
is on page 12. And it is number 12. 12 on 12. Uh, what's the acceleration of the cart be during the 22 second interaction? Uh, well, I know the mass of cart B is 2 kilograms. I know the time of the interaction is 0 0.2 seconds since I don't care about that. And the force exerted on the cart is 50 newtons. And so I have people coming into the classroom. So I'm going to do the same thing I just did in the last one, F net over mass, which is equal to 50 newtons divided by 2 kilograms, which is 25 meters per second squared, which is for D. We are done. Thank you very much. Bye.